Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing my closet tour slash closet transformation. I am going to be showing you some footage uh, before I have my custom closet put in and then also the after which will include the tour of my new closet. Today's video is sponsored by Poshmark and Poshmark is an app where you can buy and sell new and gently used clothing, accessories, shoes, and more. I did clean out my closet and list a lot of new items on there so definitely check it out. I will have a link down below where you can download the app for free and if you download the app you can use my invite code which is just Beauty by Gabby, and that will get you $5 off any purchase, not just from my closet, from any closet on Poshmark. You can shop several different brands on there. They have Nike, they have Adidas, Louis Vuitton, Victoria's Secret, Michael Kors, the list goes on and on. This is what my closet looks like. My name on there is just Beauty by Gabby, the same as here. And I have recently listed several new items, so definitely go and check that out. So before I get into showing you my closet transformation, um, just for anyone who is interested, I did hire Closets by Design to do my custom closet. The process was really quick and easy, and the price was not too bad. I did get some discounts. They were doing some promotion um, for like the holiday time, and they had free installation. So the price actually was not too bad. I was I was surprised. I was expect I was expecting it to be a lot more. I did also look into like the IKEA custom kind of custom closets. It's not really custom, um, but it wasn't that cheap. Like for the dimensions of, for the dimensions of my closet, it wouldn't have been that cheap, and it wouldn't have been truly custom, which is what I wanted. Because when you get a custom closet, they come out, they take the exact measurements of your closet, and they Built, they build it to your vision and I had a specific vision in my mind. I actually even had some sketches like when the lady came out to do the consultation. I already had my sketches and everything of what I wanted and they did a really good job of making that come to life. So overall my experience was very good. I don't really have any complaints. So if you're someone who is looking into getting a custom closet done, I definitely recommend it. I personally think that it is worth it to have something that's built exactly to your wants and your needs. So yeah, if you guys want to see my closet transformation and closet tour, then just keep watching. So this is what my closet currently looks like. So basically all I have in here um, is this wire shelving that goes all the way around, which doesn't really make a efficient use of this space because this closet is really, really big, but it may not be... It may not be showing that way on camera, but it's actually um, able to fit like a queen bed and still have three feet of space, um, like lengthwise. So it's pretty big, um, but just having this wire shelving is not really, again, making use of all the space in here, especially like height wise. And if they would have had like a second row, it wouldn't have been as bad, but it's just not, it's just, it could be a lot, a lot, a lot better with the space that I have. Some of you may know I did have um, my house built. I bought, bought a house, but um, in the model it showed, well, in the model they had this and then they had a second row. So I figured it wouldn't be that bad, but I just, I don't think I can deal with it that much longer. Like I want to have everything organized and it, it is kind of organized but I want it to have have it neatly organized to where it looks aesthetically pleasing which right now it doesn't to me so um basically how I have it set up is of course you can see my clothes hanging like on the side over here and then over here behind the door so clothes hanging on each side and then in the back I have these shoe things which I've had these for years I got these I think at Walmart but I have my shoes on those I have three of those I actually had four but my daughter broke one because I had Halloween candy up here and she climbed on it and broke one so yeah so now I had have even less space for my shoes so um, you can see I don't really have that much room for my shoes in fact I started just keeping stuff in boxes because I I can fit more I can only fit about four pairs of shoes like out of the boxes and then in the boxes I can fit like five, like five or six. So I started doing that and then you'll see up here all this is extra shoes that I don't have room for and then 
on the back of my door have this for like flats and stuff right there so it'd be nice if i could have everything all together instead of having you know here here and then on the back of the door so basically on this side this whole wall over here is going to be for shoes and then back here is going to be for longer items like longer dresses and then on this side it's just going to be for all the rest of my clothes and it's going to be split shelving or split it's shelving split um hanging basically so it'll be like two levels and then in the middle is going to be a set of drawers which are going to come up pretty high i think there's five drawers or so six drawers but that's going to basically take the place of this because right now in here i have my like t-shirts nightgowns um leggings and stuff like that so that will be in the drawer section which will be over here so i can get rid of that um i have this little rack i actually have like three or four of these but i don't have i only have, i don't know i'm out of breath i'm i think i'm trying to talk too fast <laughs> um i have this roller hanging rack which i actually have about three or four of these but i only have one in here right now and i basically put extra clothes there because i can't really put clothes right here because if i do then um the door it won't close because the hangers will be in the way so can't really make efficient use of that space so that's why i have that so on this wall it's going to be all shoes so i won't really have to worry about any clothes or hangers coming out too far because it's going to be pretty much um even narrower if that makes sense going to come like right to here so this is another view of the closet with me in the back with the door closed so yeah my skates over there that i never used i got those when i was like in elementary school i used to go skating every single friday and i loved when i got those skates because i didn't have to rent the skates anymore and if you had your own skates you were cool at the skating rink and those were like really expensive they were like around 200 dollars skates and i still have them um and i actually wore them like all the time or two as an adult like going to the skating rink for various kids parties so it's actually about midnight right now and the closet installers are coming tomorrow between 8 and 10 and I have to have all of this stuff out of here and I have to have all of these um, wire shelves completely unscrewed and taken out so this closet has to be completely empty by the time they come tomorrow so I'm gonna work on that um, real quick because I am getting tired and then I'll come back and show you guys once the closet is completely empty in a blank slate and then of course you'll see the completed project later <sighs> guys so this is the empty closet first of all i want to say if you don't have a Roomba you need to go get you one she is so worth the money so everything's cleared out i ended up not removing the wire shelving because um they actually told me that they would remove it it's just that if i wanted to remove it it would be easier to like patch and paint like if there was any holes or anything but i'm tired and it's really late and i figured um, any area that's exposed when the system is installed, I can always patch and paint later. Plus, there is an area over there on the wall. I don't know if you can see it's like scratch. So that needs to be painted over anyway. Um, I'm not sure if that part's going to be exposed or not. But if it is, then I'll paint that. And then if anything needs to be patched, like if there's holes or anything when they take this down, I can just do that later. I don't have to do that now and i'll just let them do the work since i'm paying them so much money they can go ahead and take that down um <laughs> yeah so that's pretty much it so i'll see you guys in a bit
So this is what it looks like as you walk in. And you can't really see the whole entire closet because there is this door right here obstructing the view. Which I thought about removing that, but I do want to be able to close it from time to time when I don't want to see my closet. Um, even though it looks very beautiful. And I did end up getting this rug. I went through three rugs before I finally found the perfect one. I really like the irregular shape of it and the fur, fur on it is really thick. And I got this from Amazon, so I'll link that down below if you're interested. On the right side, we have my shoes. The back, we have dresses and longer items. And then I'll come in so you guys can see better. Then over here, we have pants, tops, long sleeve tops, sweaters and jackets and coats. And then that's like shorts and skirts in the back. This is all my folding stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys just a little tour of everything in my closet. So we'll start off with this side over here, which is all my shoes. You can see here at the bottom, I still do have um, several boxes of shoes. Um, most of these shoes down here have never been worn. And I did end up taking a lot of the shoes out of boxes that had never been worn just so I could have those displayed. Um, it will help me to actually wear those shoes because I did forget about a lot of the shoes that I had. I, don't, I didn't really know everything that I had when it was all in boxes so having most of it out kind of helps me. There would probably be enough room to put all my shoes out I think um, because I do have two extra shelves like this up here on the top um, so I could probably minimize some of these like make them a little bit smaller and add in another one but it's fine for right now. Um, this is pretty much all my shoes with the exception of maybe like five pairs that I have in the garage So I do have a lot not as much as I've seen people with more, but it is a lot of shoes I'm not gonna deny that um, So yeah down here are box shoes um, over here. I have just some flip-flops some black some white some nude um, these are some sandals um, and then above that I have some more sandals different color like metallic and nude colored sandals more sandals Here um, then we get into the heels over on this side Just some nude ones Going up here so you can see like you can tell some of these did come out of the boxes I even kept like the paper in it just to keep the shape of them keep them looking nice um so these are kind of similar so I put those together and these are like heeled boots over here two pairs of combat boots and then up here these are all like um knee high or thigh high like sandals or heeled sandals so I got some black ones these nude ones these are flat sandals black ones these are the same two different colors I do that a lot I tend to get like if I really like a shoe I'll get it in multiple colors like these these um, these I did have a gray when I sold it and yeah there's more as well but uh you'll see as we go on so up here I have my like um, thigh high boots so I have these which are the same in two different colors um, another black pair of suede. These are similar to the ones down here, but it wouldn't actually fit because they're too tall. So I put them up there. Um, then I have these kind of like Ugg type boots. Um, and I got these. These are like open toe boots, heel boots. So these, which I've never worn, um, two different colors. And then these, and then these. Down here are more heels, so more like sandal type heels. So I got these, which I really love these here. These, which I've never worn. These, which I've worn once, and I got it in a mint color too, but I never worn it. You can see I have this still on there. Then I got these chain link heels, which I had in also in white, but I didn't. I only wore the white like one time, so I got rid of them because. I don't know, I don't really like white heels that much. Um, these, I don't know why these are here. My daughter put them there, but there should be something else here. But anyway, yeah, so I got these, which I've never worn. They're really cute, um, but I've never worn those because there's like this, there was some glue on this and I tried to get it off, but yeah, so. 
Um, and then these, which are from Boohoo. Got these, these, which I should have cleaned that off, but I didn't. Um, those are the same two. And then more sandals down here. So these are like clear jelly sandals. All these are jelly sandals right here. These are my Henry Bendel jelly sandals, which I showed those in a haul. I've never worn them. <laughs> and then down here I have my slides. So I have these um, mauve ones, which I've never worn. These, I've worn these to death, my Puma slides, my Fenty Puma slides. Nike ones, which I wear quite, quite frequently. And then I have these Adidas ones, which I have not worn yet. This is kind of like a random shelf right here. So I have some flats, another pair of flats. Then I have these, um, I think these are called like Birkenstock. They're kind of funky looking. Some Nike sandals. And then these are my Hirachis that I wear to work out in. And yeah, so that is the shoe, shoe side. So I'm gonna flip back over to this side over here. We'll start down here. So down here, I just have all my pants. I kind of try to color coat them somewhat. So I have my pants down there. And then up here I have, this I kind of went in order of like length. So like all my crop stuff I have over here, these are like bralettes and then cropped shirts. And then these are like my tank tops, um, regular, like, I don't know what to call it, like sleeved, short sleeve tops. And then over here, I have all my body suits. A lot of this stuff I've never worn. As you can see most of these, like that, I have like four items, like four things the same, different colors. See, I'm weird like that. All these body suits here. So yeah, these are all body suits, all body suits. And then over here, now these are really cool. These are called valet rods. And I have one here and I also have one on this side over here on my shoe shelf. I'll show you this one, it's easier. So basically they pull out and the purpose of these is if you're trying to, say you're trying to like pack or something or you just wanna put your outfit out for the next day or the next couple days, you can basically just take and just hang up, you know, whatever you wanna wear. So if you're trying to pick out outfits or again, like pack for a trip, you can put everything there. So I have one on that side. And then on one on this side, which I kinda use this creatively, I think, for my hats. So yeah, I have my Nike hats. These are all Nike, uh, um, camouflage one, Adidas. So I just decided to put to put them there because I think that's a good way to kind of keep them organized. Um, and then over here, these are long sleeve tops. So I have like cropped ones, regular ones. And then back here are like, um, like cardigans and kimonos. Ones that aren't too long because the ones that are really long, I have them over here. So below this middle section right here are my drawers. So we'll go through those now. So in the top drawer, I have all my bras and all of my bras here are Victoria's Secret. I only wear the So Obsessed or the Pink Wear Everywhere push-up, I believe it's called. So those are all my bras. Most of, are, um, most of which are either black or nude. I mostly wear black most of the time. Um, over here are sports bras, and then this is um, one of those like stick-on backless bras. I have never worn it. So that's that drawer. All right, so next drawer is my underwear drawer. This is kind of weird, I'll be honest. Um, so I have thongs over here, and then these are like regular, not thongs. This is not all my underwear. I took out a lot because it was too much and I wanted it to look cute and all laid out, but it doesn't always stay like this, I'll be honest with you. So that's that drawer. So the next drawer is my leggings and yoga pants, mostly. Um, so all my leggings, like what I wear to work out and like yoga pants. Um, over here is my bathing suits and bathing suit covers. And I have some random stuff here, like some beanies. This is what I wear um, sometimes to work out. You put your phone in there and it goes around your waist. And then over here is some like tights. 
have like three pairs. Um, so that's that. So the next drawer down here is all my like sleep shirts and nightgowns, just any kind of like lounging t-shirts and stuff like that that I wear mostly to sleep or around the house. Um, so that's all this right here. Then I have two lint rollers. This over here is my clips for my hangers. So if I'm hanging up like a shorts or skirts, I clip that to my hanger. I have a lot of these. I don't really know why I have so many of them, but I do have a surplus of those. So I put them there. And then the last drawer down here is like my lounging type pants. So, you know, so that's that. So coming back up over here, this is mostly sweaters and jackets. So have all my sweaters over here, some, some vests, which you can't, I don't know if you can really see, but I have some vests over there, my Nike sweatshirts that I love, my Adidas jacket that I've never worn, a blazer, another blazer, um, all my jean jackets, some more like fall type jackets, my camo jacket, and another, what is this called? It's a coat, basically. Um, and then below that, so this section over here is all two-piece sets, like everything that's two pieces. So like this is like a biker shorts with like a crop top. I'm going to put it over here um this which is like um some pants with like a crop top another two-piece set which is a tube top with some of those same type of pants this which just kind of came off the hanger um which is like another two-piece set so basically you get the drift all these are like two-piece sets like that and then all over here these are all skirts so I have those hanging up with these type of clips. And then next, after the skirts, are all my shorts. And I clip those as well. So those are all shorts. And then over here, I have some extra hangers. And then these, this is all of my scarves and like random belts for robes and stuff like that. And these are just like different belts I have on these weird hangers so that's that so backing it up over here this is for my long stuff so over here I have all my like any kind of like rompers or jumpsuits or dresses um, and I also have some long robes and cardigans over here so I start I kind of have it like you know going from shorter to longer so these are all mainly different dresses sweater dresses and then this middle section is really long like maxi dresses so I have a lot of those I really love these hangers guys if you have a lot of clothes and you need to fit them into a tight space I recommend these because if you can see here this is probably like 30 things fit that can fit like in this small section right here so Love those hangers. I got mine from Amazon, by the way. I'll link those down below if you're interested. They're the best price I've found um, for a big box. So yeah, so after that, these are mainly like really long cardigans and kimonos, ones that wouldn't fit on that other side. And then these are just like bathrobes. And then there's me. I put up a little mirror over here so that I could see myself when I'm getting dressed. So that comes in handy dandy. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole closet. I do have these little areas up here where I can store stuff, which is nice. I have some something up there. I think this is just like old teddy bears, like from when I was really little. I have those up there. And then up here, what is that? I don't know what that is. Something's up there. But I have this storage space and I do have another um, thing that I can put, another shelf on top up here that I can put right there if I need it. And I really like that the shelves are, the rods and the shelves are adjustable. You can see those little holes and it's really easy to move them around. So if I ever need to do that for any reason to make room, um, I can do that. But I do have, it looks all filled up, but there is like some room if I wanted to add, you know, there's some room. So yeah. 
so that is oh forgot to put that back yeah so that is the complete closet um i'm thinking about getting a little stool or something to go right here in the middle just so i can access the higher stuff like especially this this one up here is kind of high i can reach it um but it is on the high side so just something where i can sit if i want to put my shoes on well i don't really wear shoes in the house i don't um i usually grab them but i can sit on it and do something i don't know get dressed um, if I need to sit down for any reason or use it as an actual stool to reach up like the shelves and stuff I can do that and I can always like if I don't want it in the middle I can store it over somewhere over here but yeah anyway that's it guys that's the completed closet tour so that completes my closet tour video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and I'm also thinking about well I am going to have my pantry redone as well by the same company so if you're interested in seeing that video then let me know down below in the comment section and once again don't forget to check out Poshmark I will have their download link down below in the description if you do sign up make sure you put your closet names down below in the comment section so I can check it out and that completes this video so I want to thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll see you in my next one